Hi guys and welcome back to Bonnie's Backyard. I'm Bonnie and we are here again. Now, we've been away for a while, we know that, and we are sorry for that, but we actually got the chance to visit our families after a long period, long time of uncertainty. So we've had an amazing time over there. We actually got the chance to participate in my brother's wedding ceremony, which was an absolute blast. It was fantastic, so thank you for that. But we are here again now. As you can see, while we've been away, the garden's been booming, everything is crazy. Big shout out for Sidonia, Hello, thank you for taking people. care of our garden, you did an amazing job. Everything is going crazy, but more about that later. Later there is a garden tour coming. For now, I want to take you with me into the kitchen and I want to cook something for you. After two weeks of vehemently gobbling down traditional Hungarian cuisine, wherever I could find it, I felt today I needed a little bit of a lighter lunch. So on the menu, is a dish that I have been inspiring to create for a while. It's sesame crusted albacore tuna steaks with stir fried veg on the side. It's fast, it's easy, but it's also quite fancy and it's freaking delicious. So the ingredients for this dish are of course the tuna steaks, which we are going to be coating in the sesame seeds. Our aromatics are ginger, garlic and chilies. For the vegetables that we're gonna stir fry, we have some uh, baby corn, we have some bamboo shoots, we have some asparagus shoots, we have some shiitake mushrooms, some Chinese pak soy, and some spring onions. As step one, we're going to toast the sesame seeds, so we're gonna lay them on our little roasting tray and drop them in the oven on 180 to 200 degrees for three to four minutes. Make sure to keep an eye on them. Next up, we're going to chop up all our aromatics, the ginger, the garlic, and the chilies. Looking fabulous. Don't you forget about those sesame seeds. Now we will also chop all the vegetables, because once we start cooking, there won't be no time for that anymore. Last but not least, we're gonna coat our tuna steaks in the sesame seeds. With all our ingredients chopped up and ready, it's time to move over to the cooking station and get to cooking. Now, this is gonna be a rapid procedure and for it to succeed, I highly suggest you get a wok. A wok is crucial. Now, you could get away with a, with a pan, but the, the heart of the stir fry, the most important part, is that the flame envelops the entire wok and it also fries on the side, not only at the bottom. It's very crucial. Also this adjustment. All right, we're gonna be operating two pans at the same time. One for our tuna steaks and one for the stir fry veg. We start with the vegetable. Maximum heat. We're gonna add our oil. Now you could use sunflower oil, peanut oil, rice oil, multiple different oils. Just just do not use virgin or extra virgin stuff here. That's that's, that's another salad. We are going to be cooking the entire thing on maximum heat, so the oil needs to be able to take some heat. We are going to heat up this portion of oil, move it around the wok, and this oil is going to season the wok for us. It's very, very important. You want to go almost to the point where it starts smoking, as you can see for me here. Once it's smoking and it's flavored our wok, yeah. 
we're going to take it away. We're going to throw this oil away. Be sure not to put hot oil into your sink or anywhere. Better to leave it cooling it down and then just tend to it later. Alright, fresh oil. And our aromatics. While this is going, we're gonna start the other pan for the tuna on a low heat, medium low heat, and the oil. As soon as they start browning, we add in all the vegetables. All the bok soy, all the asparagus, all the mushrooms, all the baby corn, all the bamboo, everything. Time to put in our tuna steaks. At this point, you want them to be on low heat, and we want them to continuously rise. Now to finish our this, we're gonna add some sesame oil. A little bit of superior life for us, so just a little bit. Some mirin, which is sweet cooking wine. And at the end, we are going to bathe it in oyster sauce. We're going to put the tuna steaks. To finish our stir fry, we are going to add spring onions and the pasta grease. Turn it to place. So here we are with the ready tuna steaks with sesame crust, side of wok vegetables, served with a bit of soy sauce and it's time for the taste test.
It's amazing. Oh my god. So good. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Mm. Mm. So tasty, so good. What's the name of your channel again? Barney's Backyard. The Kilo Cafe. Subscribe to Barney's Backyard. <laughs>